Okay, so in the last episode, I outlined the different kinds of therapy and practitioners out there. This episode is all about taking charge and finding the right person to help you on your mental health and wellness journey. So, how do you choose what support service is right for you? I always say shop around. When it comes to taking charge of your mental health or health in general, an analogy I use is that of a mechanic and a car. Personally, I never let any mechanic that I didn't know touch my car. Is it the same for you? You like to make sure that you have someone that you can trust. And yet people are sometimes fussier about the mechanic who's fixing their car is than they are about their mental health practitioner, that they're literally opening themselves up to and entrusting with their own mental health. For me, Googling is probably not the best way to find a practitioner, as you will find lots of people who on paper seem perfect, but how do you know they're a good fit for you? A lot of people I work with come to me via word of mouth because a friend has mentioned it or a relative has mentioned it or people have seen others who have gone to therapy and seen the transformation and then said, hey, what's the name of your therapist? Or where do you go? Because it looks like you're really benefiting from it. So take charge of your mental health, do your research, check out your employer's EAP service and counseling support if you have access to something like that. It is fully confidential and any reporting is strictly anonymized. If you're looking for a counsellor or a psychotherapist, look to accreditation and regulatory bodies which will have a register of all their members. Once you've identified someone, it's important that you make sure you evaluate them and get a sense of whether they're right for you. Treat your initial meeting with the therapist as an interview. This is really, really important. Where did they study? What approach did they use? Are they accredited? Are they insured? How long have they been practicing? What made them want to be a psychotherapist? Ask questions that will help you get a feel for the person that you're meeting is a good fit for you. And then at the end of the session, when you're leaving, check with your gut. Ask yourself, did I feel a good connection with this person? Do I feel I could trust them and really open up and say stuff to this person that I never told anybody else? That's a biggie, because the reality is people will tell a therapist things that they've never told anyone else before. So, as you can see, trust is key to better outcomes for you in therapy.